Welcome to 21 Days of Prayer. My name is Crystal. Let's just dive right in. So, so far we have built a foundation. We have built a temple and now we are building the church. I get to talk today on one of my favorite topics. I get to talk about our dream team. So in Luke 10, Jesus designated 72 people to go out and prepare towns for later on in his visits. He gave them instructions on how to prep. He says in verse two, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into the fields. Here, Jesus was trying to show that we don't just do the work, we pray for more workers. As I was studying, this really stuck out to me. I don't know about you, but sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time delegating uh, and letting others take on some of the weight that I can carry sometimes. But part of our job as Christians who are within churches is to first pray to the Lord to send us more people to help do the work. And then we help those newcomers to learn how to carry out the mission. Before Jesus had sent out those 72 to teach or to build churches, he first sent out those 72 to pray. Prayer always comes first. It is the vehicle for change, and that's why we're starting this season of Vibrance Life with 21 days of prayer. But why do we need more workers? Why do we need more people serving within the local church? Well, in 1 Peter, Peter is teaching about God's house through the church. He says in verse 2, 4, You are coming to Christ, who is the living cornerstone of God's temple. He was rejected by people, but he was chosen by God for great honor. And you are living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. Now, when Paul refers to the church as a body, um, he refers to it as a physical body, Christ being the head, the believers as the different parts of the body, someone's an arm, someone's a leg. Peter refers to the church as a spiritual temple, alive and well and breathing. Christ as the foundation or the cornerstone and each believer as a different stone making this temple strong and sturdy. Both of these views in Paul and Peter and the way that they describe Christianity and serving, um, in both of these scenarios, it requires more than one person, right? A cornerstone isn't a complete building. It's just a corner. You still need walls. You still need places to sit. You still need a bathroom, praise the Lord. <laughs> a body isn't complete at just the head either. Uh, can you just imagine a head floating around? <laughs> it just wouldn't fulfill its purpose, right? The Lord desires for us to do things together. When he calls those that we have prayed for to make it here, to Vibra Church or to a local church, he then calls us and them to work together to walk out his purpose. The things that we can accomplish on our own are magnified whenever we join together with other believers. That's the whole point of being a part of our dream team, which is what we call our serve teams here at Vibrant, to gather together with other believers to help carry out God's plans for Vibrant and for our city. You are prayed for, you are wanted, and you are needed. If you haven't gone through next, you haven't joined a serve team, I encourage you to get plugged in. Let's build this church together. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for this opportunity to just build our foundation one day at a time throughout the course of this 21 days. God, I thank you for reminding us that as we pray for first and we put uh, you as the priority and as the center of all that we do, God, that you will just continue to bring people to us, Father, to continue to live out your mission and the things that you have for us, to be able to spread the good news and to bring hope and restoration and healing to those that are around us, that are in need of you. God, continue to help us to be strong, 
and uh, continue to help us to, to grow and be closer to you each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen.